This is the village of Jungholz, which is the largest settlement in this exclave. And there we have a hotel which is up for sale. It's called the Jagdhof. And it's been empty for some time. And in my opinion, that's going to be a very hard sell because it was built, I understand, more than 40 years ago and would have facilities for 40 years ago and would be rather difficult to sell today where people are more demanding than the facilities. There's the mountain. And there we see the village with this church and some murals. There's several buildings here with murals on which includes the local symbol which is the, the eagle, the Tyrolean eagle, but it has a branch coming out of it which is meant to represent the, the sex slave, young ones. Today is Sunday the 3rd of April 2017. And as it's Sunday, the bikers will be out. Here we have the ski lifts. Jungholz was the first place in the Talheimer Tal and uh, Reuter area to get ski lifts, which it got in 1948, only three years after the war. Now, uh, skiing is an important part of the economy here. It's a tourist destination working on both winter and summer tourism. So it's now between the two. This is the off season. As you can see, the ski lifts here are not running, but I did see the ski one of them running at Oberjoch in Germany, which is about what 10 kilometers or so from here. Jungholz has a population of roughly 300 people and as we look over there we can see the bank and as we come into distance we can see more of the bank. In fact at one stage you know, there were three banks here. That's a lot of banks for 300 people. The reason for that is because a lot of Germans came here to profit from Austrian banking secrecy and to keep money which maybe they didn't want the German authorities to know about and that continues to today. We have here the war memorial for the village. Now bearing in mind that this is a village of 300 people, my understanding is that in the First World War the losses, that's dead and wounded, were 75. So that would be if the population were the same some half of the male population. And we can have a look at where people were killed. So we can see on the first one on the Italian front, the second one, 13th of October 1914, that was during the Battle of uh, Premisel in that area. And we have Galicia, same area, Lvov, Lemberg, Premisel, San, Premisel. Now the Italian, uh, sorry, the uh, Austrian losses there were to a large extent that which killed off the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, the losses in uh, officer casualties were absolutely enormous and it killed off their entire professional army. So by the, after that, it, they were largely finished. Now the last uh, on the name, last person there, Alfred Wolf, killed at Fontana Secre. Now I don't quite know where that is, but from the date, the 22nd of November 1917, I can guess that it is between the Tagliamento and the Piave rivers. Now if we come over here, the Second World War, I'd like to point out as well the names. Lokbila. That, that name appears uh, on all three tablets we've got here. So we've got four Zokbilas in the First World War and one, two, three, four here plus down there one, two, so that's seven. 
So here we have uh, killed outside Leningrad, 27th of April 1942. There was a local Soviet counter-attack on that day. So 28th of November 1944, Vinitsa. The 9th of July 1944, Minsk has a Belarusian offensive. 5th September 1944 in the Carpathians. 1st of, uh, sorry, 11th of January 1945 in Slovakia. 20th of April 1945 in Nuremberg. Now in, in Nuremberg there was street fighting. This was Hitler's birthday. This was the day that the Soviets reached Berlin. Because the way the Gauleiter was in Nuremberg, the town was destroyed because he decided to fight for it. Here we have uh, Siegfried Lochbiller, who was killed on the 8th, sorry, the 5th of August, 1945, so that's uh, near Dijon, he must have been in a POW camp. Uh, Hans Schiedler was in a uh, Russian, uh, sorry, a Soviet uh, POW camp. He died in December, 1947. And we have here Armin Schmidt, who died in Niederrheinstein on the 26th of December, 1945. For, I don't know where Nieder, sorry, Niederlatenstein is. And we have here um, more names there for people uh, who died 1945, died at 30 years old, or it would have been 29, uh, in East Prussia, because I presume he died in January, because that's when the, uh, the battles were, uh, in Yugoslavia, in Romania in Poland in 1944, in Rusland in 1944, and in Russia that is, and uh, another one in Russia in 1944, presume that their bodies were never recovered. Next to the war memorial is the church. Now we have uh, St. Christopher, who is carrying the child across the river sees the patron saint of travellers.